I'm not really subtle about how I despise reaction and hot take channels. Videos produced based on speed and hot topics rather than research or providing new information to challenge the viewer. Not only does this lead to inaccurate content being spread through mass audiences, particularly on YouTube, but it leads to an absolute lack of respect for an entire medium, which in this case is animation. To put it bluntly, pausing on an in-between frame, calling animators lazy, or saying they suddenly ran out of budget, isn't just blatant disrespect, but also factually inaccurate, and that goes for everything we've seen of the reactions to the upcoming Pokemon season. To put it bluntly, Pokemon Sun and Moon will, based on all evidence, be more animated than the series has ever been before. That's actually a fairly easy claim to make if you do the research, as it's something OLM has been working on for about two years now. But before we dive into that topic, the role of character designers in animation is constantly underestimated, as the title doesn't let on nearly how much influence this position has. When you step on to create designs, it's not a one-time job. You don't just turn up, draw the characters and go home, since in the vast majority of cases, the character designer is is given the position of Chief Animation Director and it would be your responsibility to completely understand the limits of the design you create. So when you show a design to an animator, you should be able to describe exactly what parts move, how they move and how far off model it can really go. This is why illustrators are never anime character designers, it's always experienced animators. But with Pokemon Sun and Moon there has been the largest dichotomy between professional and the general fan base that I've seen in a very long time. The huge consensus among animators, including some real industry legends, is that the new Pokemon designs are better than they ever have been before, and that they open the door to a new level of animation that Pokemon never had available to it in XY. Veteran animator Ken Otsuka even stated on Twitter, The art in the Pokemon TV series is nice. It gives me a warm and happy feeling. Now if only that feeling would spread to everyone in the the industry. That's a huge endorsement, especially coming from someone as widely respected as him. The Pokemon series is currently at such a high level of production that some episodes are being worked on a year prior to their air date, making it one of the best produced long running anime series out there. And they're far from saying that's good enough. This is all thanks to a stunning department known as OLM Digital Research and Development. As an often overlooked industry pioneer, it's this department's job to develop new in-house software, new methods of anime production, and new ways of aiding animators and directors. In Pokemon XY, the addition of 3D backgrounds allowed the franchise's talents to be able to focus on the characters up front. Genius animators were really recognized as they were able to go all out on the foreground animation without having to worry about the background. But around the airing of Pokemon X, Y and Z, OLM Research and Development teamed up with Toon Boom Animation to bring everything one step further into a digital animation workflow. Famously regarded for its efficiency and ability to increase animation detail in layers, whilst they were finishing off Pokemon X, Y and Z, the staff were training, learning to use a brand new workflow that is about to shape the future. Even Masaki Iwana, an absolutely legendary talent with over 30 years experience and has animated entire episodes by himself, posted about how he's learning about the software. Digital animation is getting bigger and bigger, and with digital talents taking the stage on Mob Psycho, One Punch Man and Space Dandy to name just a few, OLM is more prepared than anyone else in the industry. Hiroyuki Kato, the lead producer of OLM Team Kato and the man in charge of the Pokemon series, has been hugely enthusiastic about the move to digital. So enthusiastic that he even compared it to the end of Japanese isolationism in 1853. He's um, 
quite overdramatic with his analogies, but you get the point, it was big. He invited people experienced with the software to come to Japan and do lectures for his staff, he rewrote the entire software manual so that it would make more sense for his team, and once they were confident enough, they started putting it into practice. This sequence here was produced entirely with the new software. So, as I said, with the character designer, their job is to control the aesthetic voice, and so everything needs to be designed to take full advantage of this brand new set of skill sets and workflow. It's not about appealing to kids or copying Yokai Watch, the Pokemon Sun and Moon character designs are here for the animators. Ash has rarely been interesting to animate before, and this led to even XY having a series of stock Pokeball throw animations, and he's never been treated in the same way as the actual Pokemon he's sending into action, but with a complete redesign with the animators in mind, this is finally going to change. Now, I'm obviously not saying that you have to like this new web gen direction that the series is taking. The series will have far more animation detail than ever before, be more expressive, and perhaps even the best animated long running show that's ever been on television, but as much as it pains me to say this as the host of an industry focused channel, some people would just rather stop watching. Some people want characters that are always on model, even if they lack visual personality. Some people would rather a character rarely move at all, than move interestingly or creatively. Genuinely, some people really would prefer less animation just because they don't want to see things change. I can't empathise, but it's worth recognising this. But in return, stop talking bullshit! The animation has not gone down in quality, and has not been rushed, it's very much the opposite. This has literally nothing to do with budgeting, nothing to do with trying to appeal to younger audiences, and everything to do with providing the best products for TV. Thanks for watching the Canopy Effect, special thanks to Frogkun for additional translation, and there will be another video when the series is airing, exploring the effects of this anime revolution. All sources and further reading are in the description.